Hi everybody, it's Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art and this next week we are going to be doing a beautiful watercolor sunrise. So tune in on Tuesday night, 7.15 Central Standard Time, but for now, here is a preview. I'm starting with laying down my masking fluid for my sun and it's basically just rubber glue that as it dries you can paint over it and it keeps the paper underneath it white. And then I'm just going to take clean water and surround my sun and then start dropping in a little bit of that Indian yellow. Now for the sky we basically just wet our entire paper and then we put in color. So my paper is completely wet and I dropped in a little bit of the pink and a little bit of the violet and then a little slate blue because I want that color change from yellow to pink to purple to blue. Kind of like how in the sky how it changes colors as it's changing. And then I'm going to start putting in um, clouds. So to do that I take my slate blue and I just make a darker area at the bottom and then I just rub that out, spread that out to the top, and then I take my paper towel and just dab um, in kind of circular shapes. And then I'm gonna introduce a little bit more color. So I put a little bit more pink, a little bit more purple, and then I dab again. And it's just that process uh, over and over again. And we just kind of layer the color on as we go. Now the challenge we might have with this project is it's very, light layers and lots of them. So try and use light washes when you're working. Um, just remember that you can always add color in, so don't worry about it. And I'm starting to just kind of shape my clouds. So to do that, I just take a little bit of a darker color, either the violet or the blue, and just start kind of shaping my clouds. Now for the ones on top, I want them to um, start with like a yellow, which is if the sun was reflecting all of, off of them, and then go towards a light pink, purple, and then blue. And it's going to be the opposite for the clouds underneath because the sun is on the top. So the top of my clouds are going to have that nice little yellow, the soft pink, the purple, and the blue. Now, as we lay down color, it's going to spread out because our paper is white, I mean, is wet. So we kind of have to wait for it to um, spread and settle a little bit before we can decide if we need to add more things, which is kind of why I'm going all the way around this the whole time. Now I wanted to make my sky a little bit brighter, so I'm adding a little bit more of the, of the yellow around it. And then my cloud to the right, I wanted to really kind of play with that um, really pretty pinky orange color. So I made um, like half of the cloud that color. And now is when you kind of go around, you start blending things together, and I'm going to start kind of darkening the bottom of my clouds to give them a little bit more fo uh, form. So you just go ahead, you take your slate blue, you just do another layer, then you blend that out with your, with your brush. And then I'm just going to start doing some smaller clouds um, coming kind of towards my sun. Now those colors are just like a purple and a violet too. And I'm just doing some um, gold highlights here as if the sun was just reflecting off those clouds that are that are um, nice and big uh, right around it. And I'm going to darken, I'm going to add more yellow to my sky. And I probably should have just made my initial yellow a little bit darker when I laid it down. But we can always add more later. And now I'm going to lift off my rubber eraser by just rubbing it and it should peel right off. And then I take my paintbrush and I just blend it out to get a nice soft sun. And that's it. Is that it? 